Now let's take a look at another familiar tool that everybody loves to utilize, which is Maltigo. Now Maltigo is definitely one of those tools that you would utilize during the beginning of your pen test. And this will definitely be one of those that will benefit you with your documentation. Of course, I would recommend that you utilize the full edition, the pro version, versus the community edition when you're doing a real live hand, uh, pen test. So let's see what we get here with our starting up of Maltigo. All right, from here we have our welcome. Then we just go to next, and then we put in our logon information that we would need for it to be initialized to the server. So it's going to go out there and check, see if it can actually reach the server. All right, from there we basically put in our email address. and the password associated with it. And then we put in the password solve captcha. All right, there it goes. Next up All right, it's going to uh, update transforms, all good. In this case here, it found three new application servers, 125 new transforms, 32 new entities. Awesome. So now we're ready to start. Now let's go ahead and just open up a blank graph. And then from there, we'll just take it. So let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Maltigo Backtrack Edition specifically for Maltigo. All right, and here we go. See if we can open that up a little bit. All right. So from here, it's going to be pretty straightforward. Main thing here is, uh, let's start off with the domain name here. We'll just pop that right in there. And then from there, we're going to change this by just double clicking to mile2.com. And then from there, I can right click, run transforms. And then from here, I can actually run all transforms, which would do, do everything from domain to DNS name schema, DNS name to MX server, goes to your DNS records, email address, and so forth. So it'll go through and do all that good fun stuff. I can do just DNS specifically owner details, email addresses from the domain, file and documents that may be out there, as well as other transforms that I can utilize and such. So let's try to take a look at some of these individually here of DNS from domain. We're going to do all in this set. It's going to go through. It's going to ask for a username and password again. Uh, let's see what we're doing here. I'm putting in this password. And then ICI, TIFF, AD, AMA. All right. All right, then from here, we can actually run all transforms. This is where we start actually getting results in regards to some of the transforms that are being run. So as you can see here, we're already getting some, some information. We can kind of bring that up here and see. Now it's still running, so it's going to come up with some additional information. But generally, you want to start with the domain name and then work your way through that. As you can see, we're getting a lot more information in regards to where it's related to. 
All right, so it's collecting yet more information. You can see here, we're now getting actual uh, email addresses that are going to be related. They're either on the site or related to the site. And then what you can do here too is you can relate this, for instance, these email addresses to each other and say, hey, is so-and-so related to this email address? And it's just a matter of doing, again, some more extensive searching and then comparing them and so forth. It's, it's pretty sweet. So, for instance, here with this Drew Diller at gmail.com, we can actually run some additional transforms to kind of see where specifically if this particular uh, email account, for instance, has a Flickr account, a MySpace account, or something to that effect. We could try that out and see. And from what it looks like, there may actually be some relation there. So there's Drew. Oh, and there's Drew right there. We can tell that at least you know Drew Miller at gmail.com is has a uh, MySpace account, and then from there we can also see that it's related to the mile2.com website. So what we can do too is uh, let's say we go here. Let's say we run. Let's say we run everything in here. Let's see what type of information we actually get from this. So you can actually see, of course, going to Gmail. Now it's going to a lot more sites out there. And this is probably where the user had either left some information on. And again, what you want to be able to do is you want to look at the information that's on the site and then see if it's related to somebody else. Because sometimes what happens is you will generally, when you're doing a pen test, you'll notice that somebody from work, you know, you'll find out some of the email addresses. And then from there, you're going to find out that that email address was used, for instance, on a community board, you know, on some type of message board or in some type of uh, Google news groups or something like that, where they left some messages using that email address and so forth. And then from there you can then tell too if they either utilize different emails or different usernames and then you again put the pieces of the puzzle together. It's, it's pretty cool in regards to getting that information. Now if we look at, again that was just uh, just drawing that out of, out of the air in regards to you know what we found here. Now we can then go in and actually find out some more specifics you know, we can highlight all these and say, okay, now I want to see possibly in regards to this. Um, let's see here. Let's do uh, email addresses found and see what it comes up with. And then from there, again, you're just kind of going through and you're picking out, you're picking out the pieces of the puzzle more or less in regards to what's out there. All right. Now, One thing we should notice too, that is if we go right here, this is going to be our network address for the mile2.com website. So what we're going to do is just take a look at that and see where it actually comes out. Let's see what information we actually get from this. And this is also a good start too to run it off of that. And where did it go? Here's our mile two. All right, so here we go. So you can see here we have a lot of different things that it's being linked to. Now we're starting to get phone numbers. You can see here we have also net blocks, as you can see there. We have, oh, here we have our name server. All right, we have our VPS mile two, which we did find in another one. Uh, another tool we utilized earlier. Right, so now you're seeing we actually have a lot more uh, information available. Here we have an IT, uh, itsecuritycentral.org. And with this site, what we can do again is run more transforms, get some information from it, and see what we can do. Now, one thing that I'm going with here is, is that, is it possible then that this particular itsecuritycentral.org 
org website is it possibly sharing something in regards to the mile2.com website so those are some of the things again that you need to look for when you're looking out and when you're actually seeing things like this so you can tell here it may possibly go into a rabbit trail in regards to what you're trying to find specifically but as you put the information together it's it's going to start making sense so some of these you might be able to say okay there's really no link to what we have in regards to trying to find vulnerabilities and trying to find additional information uh, again but you have other types of of information here that you could then utilize as well so it's definitely a, a nice tool to have and you should be able to as you go through and you're looking through uh, the information here that's popping up again some po false positive information but the information that you see uh, will definitely give you a bigger picture on how big the organization is to see if they have any again email addresses that are being utilized out there of course you could always utilize um, you know your Google search engines or your DuckDuckGo or whatever that you use out there and find some additional information in regards to you know where where these email addresses are being utilized and things like that of course we saw through the uh, centralops.net website some of this information that we can also then plug into Maltigo and uh, you can also save these of course you can look at them in, in different views as well and as you can see here we have a, a lot of information that's being displayed and then again it's a matter of comparing this information with what you find uh, using like your central ops.net and such and then working it from there so it's it's definitely worth the time to go through and again you're gonna be more specific and you're gonna try to find out too okay where who's going where what why when and uh, it's definitely going to be a, a great tool to get some nice information on uh, and so forth. Again, this is more for, for demo purpose, but if you wanted to do this in the real world, uh, again, you need to buy the professional edition. You'll also, you won't have to put in your username and password every time you try to run these transforms either. Now, we can also look at the uh, edge weight. Now, the way this generally works is the higher or the bigger the... Um, the sphere is here, the bigger the relationship is between, but you can kind of see there's a little bigger here and then a little smaller ones out around it. All right, so that's just, again, another view that you can look at it from. And you also have an entity list, which is actually pretty nice, too, because with this entity list, you can actually go in and organize it by either the type or the value so here we can actually see right off the bat some of our information that we found with some of the other tools within the uh, DNS enumeration within Backtrack and all of the email addresses that you can see and so forth. So there's definitely a, a lot of information out there that could be utilized. So just to, again, when you start this off, right, what we're going to do Let's just open up a new one here. And let's say we go after our email address. So let's say we have an email address. And let's say we have, oh, let's take a look here real quick. Just to show you how you would actually go about maybe starting something like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Firefox. And we're going to go to the uh, Central Ops on that website and grab some information straight off of there. And then we're going to kind of plug it right into Maltigo and see how you would realistically utilize the tool. And of course, you always want to try to play with it as much as you can so you can get, become more familiar with it and, uh, again, see how awesome this tool really, really is. All right, so once we have uh, Firefox up, let's go ahead and uh, go to the centralops.net website. And then from here, I'm going to go to the uh, domain dossier, and then I'm going to put in the Mile 2 website. So again, the information that we get from here 
is going to be who registered for it and so forth, which is great. So we know it's it's off of Sheldon Road in Tampa, Florida. And as you notice here, we have a rayfree at gmail.com. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this, and I'm going to put that right in here. Okay, and then from there, we can actually run the transforms. So in here, again, I like to just run all transforms and then, then just kind of go through and uh, see what we get. So as you notice now, we actually have a phone number that we can uh, work off of as well. We also have a, another Gmail account called emailrayfree at gmail.com. We have a phone number, which we can actually take that information and also run some transforms on it. So let's see what we got here when it comes to the phone number. And here we actually have some information regarding equipment and bikes for sale. So let's take a look at what this is. Let's go ahead and run some transforms on this and see where it takes us. Wow, now look at this. We have the bikes for sale. And it looks like it was posted everywhere. Whoops, let's see here. Bikes for sale was looks like it was posted on these different sites from WordPress to Craigslist, I thought I saw there for a minute. We also have some different names that go along with it. Now we are starting to get some some uh, contact information basically and it's pointing back to the phone number there. And what we could do here too is we can grab this phone number right we can go on to our google.com website or whichever website you prefer to go to right and we can actually put that phone number in and we should be able to get some information in regards to that you can see here we have that equipment t3 so let's uh, take a look at that Tampa Tri Team. And there we have the bike for sale. We have three bikes for sale. And hey, look, we have Ray Friedman selling a medium giant tri bike. You can contact him at raybefree at gmail.com using the phone number. Now, <clears throat> again, you see here now we're getting information, right, that's going to be more useful to us in regards to what's out there. So if a company, for instance, has information that they are putting out there you can check to see where they have actually put that information and such so it's pretty cool you can kind of see the relationships again how that all kind of comes together and such so it's pretty cool when it comes down to being more specific on what you're looking for and so forth so it's uh, definitely one of those things that you can then go on and on and, and literally find lots of hidden treasures uh, with that so keep that in mind as you're utilizing uh, Maltigo and uh, again, try this out with your own name or with your own company and see what you can find. There's been cases uh, in pen tests that I've done using Maltigo where I was actually able to find uh, documents that were actually available online um, that these were kind of internal documents. And uh, it's pretty amazing uh, the information that it will show. Again, as you drill down, I was able to relate from the domain name down to email uh, as in AOL addresses that were related because they were utilizing and again they were they had that relationship so you knew that this email address uh, for the AOL was related to this person because of the relationship that it showed and so forth so it's uh, again one of those really nice tools check it out against Maltigo and um, you guys can you know have fun with it pretty cool stuff so let's go ahead and uh, close out of this and we'll take a look at some other tools here all right thanks for checking it out